Z will alert you if things go haywire. Sneak in, get past the security, and find the book. Our best agents went missing on this case, so be careful. Rookies have a mortality rate of 78.3% on their first mission. 78.3 seems excessively high to me. Eh, I might have fudged the numbers a bit just for you. So, what's the deal with this book? I don't know, but Chauncey wants it. And he works with the Adorians. They've been in a civil war with the Nakadans for like three millennia. Their fight has come to Earth. That's when we got involved. Excessively high to me. Eh, I might have fudged the numbers a bit just for you. So, what's the deal with this book? I don't know, but Chauncey wants it. And he works with the Adorians. They've been in a civil war with the Nakadans for like three millennia. Their fight has come to Earth. That's when we got involved. Chauncey must have it in a safe somewhere around here. Right alongside his other precious collection, rare 8-bit video games. Rich atmospheres playing tricks on my eyes. Come out, come out, Crowley. At least I can't dress for the occasion. Uh, nice talking to you, Katiana. <laughs> Katiana? What part of sneak in don't you understand? I'm undercover trying to find out about our missing agents and distract from your supposed break-in. You keep our host over there busy while I find his safe in the door code. Chauncey regularly changes his security system. Smart. But he also has to let everyone know how smart he is. Dumb. So one of these people might know something. And how am I supposed to keep him busy? Try your eyes. They're quite lovely when they're not covered by sunglasses. Better plan. Let's dance. Uh, hello, handsome.
Hey. Great party, huh? D do you work here at SEA? Yeah. <laughs> Loads of fun. Do I work here? I'm the guy holding the place together. I even designed the security system at Big C's New Mexico place. I built it, and I'm in charge of maintaining it. So you're the guy who calls the cops if anything bad happens? <laughs> no, not really. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some important cop calling to do. Hey, great party, huh? Hey, great party, huh? Hey, that is a gorgeous dress you're wearing. <sighs> Please, has that line ever worked for you? Hey, great party, huh? Hi. You guys work at SEA? We handle security programming. We work with Roger Green, which means we work and he takes the credit. Oh, so you're the people keeping this place safe, huh? Sounds like an exciting job. It is. When we actually get to do anything, Roger rarely does any real work. He's always out at Chauncey's New Mexico mansion while we're crunching numbers. Anything programming related? Yes, he is a genius. He got this job somehow. Certainly not his personality. Check out his choice in women. Yeah, true. He does have a way of always ending up with the wrong girlfriend, though. With his personality, the fact that he can land anyone should be considered a minor miracle. I see he has some girlfriend troubles. That's an understatement. And she really has Roger on a string. I mean, he'd do anything for her. As I said, genius with code, total idiot with women. Yep. He's just had a big fight with Iza. The, uh, the broadzilla in the red dress behind you. No, 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 don't turn around. And now she's giving him the silent treatment. She's the jealous type. Hey, great party, huh? No. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm, uh, I'm a friend of Roger's. Is that so?
Hey, that is a gorgeous dress you're wearing. <laughs> Please, has that line ever worked for you? Hey, great party, huh? I don't think I've introduced myself. Uh, William. William Hardy. William Hardy? The William Hardy? Shoot! I'm Roger Creed. I was one of the people they called in after you breached NASA's firewall. Oh, that was my toughest job yet. Whoa, you sure messed up their system, huh? <laughs> wow, this is great. <laughs> Those NASA guys were amateurs. I mean, really, you can't base your security solely on what they taught you in college. <laughs> I bet this place is even better secure than that, right? Of course it is. And it's not just the code. Our critical assets are inside the net of gamma overdrive modulators. Completely invisible. Yet, it'll fry your cortex if you so much as touch it. Got the idea from watching those squirrels on the power lines, if you know what I mean. Gamma overdrive modulators? They have a very specific radiation signature. HQ will reconfigure your scanner to detect it. We find the modulators, we find Chauncey safe. Gamma overdrive modulators? Woof! What are you protecting, the holy grail? Something more important, I'm sure. Source code, family pictures, video games. I don't even care. I only set up the system for the fun of it. Whatever it protects is Emilio's business. 